It's over for Mid Journey. What do I mean? Well, take a look at this Stability AI. They have just announced the SDXL 1.0. And let's just say this is going to change the game for AI generated images. Let's deep dive right into it. So, based off of their previous models, they state that this is currently the best image model from Stability AI. They call it SDXL 1.0, and that is a flagship image model from Stability AI, and this is currently, right now, the best one for image generation. So we can see here from this graph, the preference win rates, and clearly SDXL 1.0, base and refiner is clearly the number one. Then we can see the 0.9 version as well as the previous ones right here. And let's go ahead and see what makes this one different. Now here are some examples of the quality images. And here, if you've used Mid Journey before, at least right now, you probably think, oh, this is something Mid Journey can do, no problem. And at current times, you are probably correct. However, there are some slight differences which I will discuss later in this video. So be sure to stay till the very end. And obviously right here, they focus on something. So for example, a girl chasing a dog on a beach. That is not something that's quite easy to recreate according to them. And it looks like they have worked on that. In addition, hands. If you started using Mid Journey, for example, or even these early image generation AI softwares, you might have noticed it was very difficult to get a picture with a realistic looking hand. And even today with the current AI generated softwares, sometimes you might have to do it multiple times just to get a hand with a full five fingers. And you can see the other examples right here, such as the lighting coming in from a building with the shadows and even some darker contrasted images. Now here, obviously, these are AI generated. Definitely would be cool to see, or could be a person in a costume, such as a tiger astronaut looks like, or a panda in a coffee shop. Now, what they're highlighting here is that you can essentially recreate these images with less words. I remember back in the early days, especially for Mid Journey for comparison, and you have to write quite a few words with every single little detail just to get something even remotely close. And just from this example, it says that it can tell the differences between concepts such as the red square, a famous place, versus a red square, like a literal square. And I think that's very big because there's sometimes when I'm creating images and I know that the at least the data I'm assuming is trained on would assume it's something else, so I'd have to specify it in a completely different word. So it's good to see that it knows the difference between actual location and then a physical shape. And this could translate into completely different prompts to where it makes your life much easier when it comes to editing. Here's some more fun facts. And essentially, this is the largest parameter count that they currently have. And it's starting off with 3.5 billion parameter base model and a 6.6 .6 billion parameter refiner. And you can see a little image graph right here. And they state this should work very well on consumer GPUs with 8 gigabytes of VRAM on ready available cloud instances. Now take a look at this image. This is actually quite cool. It's essentially a mountain with a road, looks like the shape of the road conforms to the shoe. Now this is actually kind of insane to see this design. And the fact that you can see that can be generated with AI, that's incredible. Here's another example, this one, chimneys, and then we look like we have some sort of kettle pots on the right side, and to be honest, this is impressive. Nice looking kettle pots, and the inspiration for the design, assuming that the chimney, I'm not even 100% sure the name of what you'd call these, but I know, obviously you've probably seen these in person, and the seeing that how you can transform product design, for example, or just anything from literally a building outside your house or could be some object inside of your home such a shoe or a toothbrush into some magnificent looking ai generated images this is going to revolutionize content creation and the best part is you can actually go ahead and test this out right now so this is where it showcases the different links now let's go ahead and actually mess around with this ourselves. so here it is stable diffusion xl sdxl 1.0 a loop forward in ai image generation 
let's go ahead and test something out. So first off is we have to enter in a prompt. Now, in order to test AI image generation, I at least I would assume you'd have to compare this to another image generation software out there. So first off, what I'm going to do is come up with a prompt and then we'll create that same exact image on the latest version of Midjourney and we'll see which one looks the best. So being this is revolving around AI, let's make an AI futuristic city with an amazing view. And let's just see what we can do here. So they have this little option and here we can change up these styles. So we have anime, photographic, digital arts, isometric. And this is actually quite cool because on Midjourney, for example, I don't even know what the styles are without having to type in the settings and sometimes it's kind of hard to figure that out. Then we have aspect ratio. So this is actually pretty cool as well. Makes it much easier than typing dash dash AR 16 colon nine on mid journey, for example. And then we have negative prompts. What shouldn't be in your image? So we're not messing with that for right now. Let's just go with this simple view. So let me copy this because we're gonna share this into mid journey. And let's see the difference. Now, obviously they do have a pro version, which I'll cover in just a second but let's skip this. And this is the process as of right now. So I'm assuming this is other people utilizing the software either way. From the first test of this, it isn't that long comparing to obviously mid journey, depending if you have the premium or not, could take significantly longer or could be around the same time. But at least right now, as you can see, we're almost there and it doesn't seem to be that far from waiting at least. So here is the result from the prompt that I put on SDXL. So let's see, we have this watermark right here. Futuristic city does look pretty good, not gonna lie. Let's try out number two. And we can see number three and number four. Now, one thing I did notice is the quality of this particular image. It has this like fuzzy kind of look to it. But let's go ahead and compare these now to Mid Journey. And here is Mid Journey. Now, from a glance, these do look very similar. Obviously the pixels, it's going to look a lot sharper and more concise because the images are divided into fours. But once we do enlarge them, then we can tell if it's truly that clear. But from first glance, Mid Journey does look like it does have some nice, crisp, clear quality looking designs for this. But we have to do another test, obviously, to just see the quality overall. So let's try another prompt. So let's try another prompt just to get a full comparison. And let's think of something. Let's do this. A person chasing a robot delivery dog in downtown. So let's just copy in this prompt and then let's go ahead and click on generate. So now here is the images now this one definitely looks a little strange but let's go see the other images so we have this one right here then we have this image and then we have this image now it seems like right now with this current version obviously one it's free for me to do this example the part that it doesn't look like it's able to do well is the background of a city yet. So you can see here there's some slight definitely things that shouldn't be there. Here this one is a little bit better but this one for sure. This start in the background looks a little strange but in terms of the alignment it looks like it's gotten a little bit better at least from the previous versions. And then we have this one right here. Now, let's see the comparison with Midjourney. Now, this is interesting. Midjourney has given us multiple different styles. And the thing that did get correct is the robot dog and the person chasing it. So as of right now, it looks like Midjourney in terms of accuracy for the prompt, at least my example, it did pretty good. But again, let's try another version of that exact prompt with stability XL because obviously it's just released there might be some slight bugs and updates they can make to it but let's give it one more try now here is some more examples now this one we can see there is some sort of robot the person is chasing but the dog looks like a dog this one here this might be the most accurate one so far with a dog 
robots actually looks pretty good and this one does look pretty realistic I'm not gonna lie but then we have another dog here and then we have some guy in the background and the way he's carrying this backpack yeah, it looks like it's supposed to be a square but I guess it's on the side and we have this person it looks like some sort of delivery driver but his head is has some crazy uh, glitch I think right here and then we have this one so this one looks a little bit better in terms of the quality so right now at least first glance it seems like anything that is including multiple different images especially with some background it seems like you definitely will have to test this out quite a few times but it seems if you're going to do something that's generally a single type image then i think you might have at least an easier way for creating that now here is the biggest pro of this stability ai and that is its cost to use mid journey if you aren't familiar as of right now they did upgrade some different plans but the base at least from what i remember was 30 dollars a month i believe i saw they have upgraded one to upwards of 120 bucks a month and we can see here with stability this is annual seven or if you just do per month it is at nine dollars and it showcases 1500 images per day so if you were going to get four of those divide that by basically 1500 you're looking at potentially close to 400 basically prompts that you can test out a little less than that assuming that those are each four times counting and then you can see there's additional things such as unlimited background removal and these other additional things you can do so is this a replacement for mid journey as of right now it's definitely a major competitor but in terms of use case obviously that matters to somebody depending on what you need it for and the accuracy of the image but in general you can see there's additional features that you can utilize with this not just with stable diffusion xl but all these other different features that mid journey currently seems to not have exactly the same but either way do share your thoughts on this because the next updates when they do create this 1.1 2.0 whatever they call it is going to be definitely much better and who knows how crazy it's going to be but as of right now this is the latest updates in the ai space be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to see more content